First at five, a judge denies a request to lower the bond of the Louisville man accused of killing another man in a road rage shooting. WLKY's Erica Conkill stepped out of the courtroom just moments ago. She now joins us live at the Hall of Justice with details on this unexpected hearing. Erica? Rick, this move came as a surprise to the victim's family, who was just here in court yesterday fighting for a judge to raise Donald Hayes' bond. Now, it was originally set at $10,000 on Saturday when he was arrested, and he bonded out of jail on Sunday. Well, yesterday, he was back in court where a judge decided to raise his bond to $50,000. Well, Hayes' attorneys today in court called for a special meeting urging that judge lower Donald Hayes' bond back down to that originally set $10,000. Bond. Now, this case all started on Saturday when police say 67 year old Donald Hayes fired a gun into 57 year old Danny Wilson's car, killing him in the Camp Taylor area following a road rage altercation. Today, Donald Hayes went before a judge for the second day in a row. His attorneys called a special hearing to challenge the judge's bond decision. They say the judge's ruling does not comply with criminal procedure. The judge argued it did and decided to keep the bond at $50,000. Dollars today. Defense attorneys say they're not finished fighting this issue and plan to take it to a circuit court judge, but for now, the case remains in district court. And we would have everything on the record for the court for the court to consider what should happen here. That judge would have the authority to put the bond back where it should be. It breaks your heart because we just had to go through this yesterday, and now we have to see him again today over this. Now, the, the prosecutor's office is asking the attorney general's office if it can request a special prosecutor handle this case because Hayes is so well known in the community for running a hot dog stand here downtown. I spoke with the attorney general's office today. They tell me that decision could come as early as next week. Reporting live downtown, I'm Erica Coghill, WLKY News. Mm -hmm.